Okay, we've got this interesting exponential problem on the board. We have 32x to the fifth equals 7e to the 2x. And we're going to try to solve this with the Lambert W function. So to get started, we're going to notice 32 is 2 to the fifth. So I can actually write this. I can rewrite this as 2x to the fifth. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to utilize our formula over here. So we want to get kind of like our x around the e. And so what I can do is let's just divide both sides by e to the 2x, get this all on the same side. Not really concerned about this 7. And we're going to have, or not yet anyway, so we're going to have 2x to the 5th, e to the minus 2x, as we're dividing, equals 7. And then the first problem that comes to mind now is this x is a first power, and this x is a, this is going to be, if we multiply that, it's going to be a fifth power. So let's take a fifth root on both sides. I'm going to write it as 1 over 5. And the same thing, we have to do it on the right. So doing that, applying our power, separating this, our 2x to the fifth to the 1 fifth is just going to be 1. So we're just going to have 2x here out front. And then we'll multiply this 1 fifth on here. And we'll have e to the minus 2 fifths x equals, you know, I'll just write it as a fifth root of 7. And we're kind of making some progress towards our form. We got our e, and we got the right power anyway on the x, but we just have different coefficients. But that's easy to fix because we can do that by multiplying a constant. So what we'll do, um, what do we need to do? Oh, we just need to, what we need to do to fix this is let's multiply a minus one fifth on the left side and a minus one fifth on the right. And actually, why don't, let's just save a step and kind of write it like this. And then at this point, what you'll notice is when we multiply this minus one fifth in, we're identical here. We've got minus two fifths here, minus two fifths here, x, x, e, and then we can use our Lambert W function. So let's apply that now. So doing that on the left side, we're just going to produce this as our results. We'll have minus two fifths x equals the Lambert W of minus the fifth root of seven over five. And then we can Isolate our x just by multiplying by minus 5 halves, pretty easy. So that's going to cancel the 1 here, and we're going to have minus 5, five halves here. So let me just write this out so it's more neat. So we're going to have our solution as x equals minus 5 halves, number w minus the fifth root of 7 over 5. Now let's just interpret this a little bit. We want to know is this going to be a real solution? So we know the fifth root of 7 is going to be between 1 and 2. We have a negative, so we know that this is actually going to be in our region. Let's take a look at the graph of the Lambert W function. So this value here being negative and being a small value, it's going to be less than minus, well, sorry, greater than minus 0 0.368. So it's going to be somewhere in this region here. And you'll see we have two intersection points, which is going to give us two real solutions. So what I did is I just plugged that into Wolfram Alpha. So one value I found by plugging this in was 1.18565. And this is from, if we did the principal branch, that's going to be from this value, will give us this value. But then also we could look at our, our second value. This is on the uh, negative one branch. So if we look that up, we get a value of 4.54496. So we're going to have two real solutions. And that's it. And here's our solution in terms of the Lambert W function. So I'll stop it there. I got this problem from my quiz, Lambert W challenge. Provide a link in the description. Hope you check that out. Thanks for watching.